Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Romans 12, 9 and 10. And don't be surprised. I'm going to talk about my grandpa to get. I'm going to talk about my grandpa again because, man, he really had an impact on me. He really had an impact on me. And this verse of the day really kind of just reminds me of that impact so much, man. Romans 12, 9 to 10. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. My grandfather, I, I, I was blessed as one of his grandkids to actually get to live with him for about three of my teenage years. Off and on, he let me come and go. And he trusted me. But what I remember a lot, because a lot of people used to come and visit Grandpa. Whenever someone would come and visit Grandpa, he's going to talk to him about the Lord for about three hours. It, it, was, it was going to go on for a long time. But when I was there living with Grandpa, the chains were, were, were released off of me. He did not worry about me like that. He would, we would get into devotion every morning for about 30 minutes. It might go over if we're excited and really soaking up stuff. But the way it was, it was a one-on-one. -on -one and then he let me go about my day. He let me go about my day. He, he would even let me go out all night and say, hey, just make sure you lock the door when I come back. But I just remember how he was, how when he was preaching, he would get up close he he would he would hold my hand like you know Warren, God is just so good and I don't even remember exactly what the man says, but he was able to teach me by the way he was and, and it wasn't just words it wasn't pretend to love others he really loved me, he really loved me. And Ephesians six four it it it, it reminds me of what he was doing fathers, grandpas. Do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in training and instruction of the Lord. He didn't exasperate me. He didn't try and force things in me. But when he didn't see someone and he had a sense that they weren't walking with the Lord, he did put the pressure on. He did feed them hard and strong in a lot of word to get the pressure on them so that it would stick. But with me day in, day out, it was to be a constant walk. And whenever I would see him, because mind you, he had this land. He had a lot of land. He had this big bridge. He had a cornfield. He had watermelons. He had a compost. He had all these things. He built his own house with his own hands. The man was always going out and doing various things, various tasks. And as I saw him, I could tell in his mind, he was always having Bible verses go through it. He would come in from after working all day. And I mean, this was a strong old man, 76 year old busting logs. He would come in and he'd be like, mama, you know what the Lord shared with me? He would go to his wife, mama, you know what the Lord shared with me? And then they would discuss it and they would laugh and they talk about how good God was. Mm -hmm. This was not a fake. This was not a, 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 a facade put on for people. I got to see them, and when I was with him, I never felt exasperated. I was brought up by the way that he was simply being. And when I got to go out with him at times, Proverbs 17, 6, Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. <laughs> children's children are a crown to the aged, and he treated me like that. He treated me like when we went out, that this is his crown. This is his good buddy. This is what the Lord is blessed with me. This is what is going to carry on the Lord's legacy, not his legacy, the Lord's legacy once I'm far and gone. This is who's going to preach the gospel once I'm gone. This is who's going to bring many to him. It's a crown. We pass on these things. As Proverbs 22, 6 says, 
Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Grandpa did not see me preaching at that time. He did not know. He, I, I have a feeling the Lord talked to him, but he didn't worry about it. All he did was love me, really love me, and show it, and, and, and just show how he is. In Psalm 127, 3 to 5, children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward for him. Again, he treated me like that. That Grandpa treated all his grandchildren like that. That's why they, they, though we may depart from the Lord at times, we all come back to remember someone that we saw that was legitimate. 1 Peter 4, 8 through 11, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Just share. Be yourself. Be yourself, but actually love them. And Ephesians 4, 2 through 3, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There was such a peace with grandma and grandpa. There was such a peace over their land. Again, they lived in a, a spot that was around a lot of small houses that had really tiny yards, but their yard was huge, huge enough to have cornfields and have a bridge that goes over to a basketball court and things. The Lord blessed them, and it felt so peaceful. If I, I would, I would spend one time back in 1995 sitting at Grandma and Grandpa's house than anywhere in the world right now. There was no more peace because they had the bond of peace on them. They loved God through and through, and it shined day in day out. For anybody that came by and saw Grandpa preaching to them all day, they had no idea that he was truly like this all the time, minute after minute, and it was beautiful. I'm so thankful that God gave me these times to spend with him. It was beautiful. Yeah. So, what am I trying to say in this message? Really love people. Show them who you are truly in the Lord Make sure that you are like that day in, day out. And it's not going to be a rigorous religious thing. It's going to be something that comes out of the heart, something that flows naturally, something that is just about who you are in Christ. Christ may live, not you. And when you do that, you bless so many, you bless your family, you bless, bless your friends and You'll see them again. You'll see them again. Dear and I thank you for this day, Lord. May many be saved. May many come to know you. May we show who you are through and throughout. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.